Hi, hi, lovelies. It's Kate McKibben here, and I wanted to share my number one list building tip with you all. Now, I've managed to, in three separate businesses, build lists to over 20,000 in the first year year to 18 months with zero budget. So I want to share with you my number one tip for how to grow your list and how to profit from your list. And I'll show you that up next. All right. Hey there, lovelies. Thank you for joining me. Now I take it if you're watching this, you're probably right now focusing on building your list. Or maybe you've just been told that, you know, the money is in the list. Like you need to have a list. You need to focus on your list, like list, 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 list. Like everyone's so obsessed with growing a list in this whole online game, right? And it's for good reason. Growing a list is really, really important because it's one of the only ways that you can communicate with your tribe for, well, for free, apart from like your hosting fees of that, you know, email service, um, you know, like Facebook kind of had us all fooled. Like it got us all to build up our Facebook pages thinking we could communicate with those people. And then it's like, eh, gotcha, you got to pay. And then Facebook bought Instagram and did the exact same thing there. So, you know, it's really um, one of the only ways, as I said, to create this tribe of people, this container of people who are interested in what you're doing, who want to hear from you, who are possibly potential customers and be able to communicate with them, you know, when you want to, at the right times. And nowadays it's because these email services are so super smart. You can really, really, you know, get in there and make sure you're giving people the right info at the right time and, you know, creating this amazing experience for them as well. So list building, awesome tick all over it that you want, you know, you're growing your list, you're focusing on growing your list, but I bet you, you are missing one thing. And this thing is like so many people don't think to do it. They're like, go, yeah, I'm going to grow my list. I'm going to grow my list, but they don't have a funnel. You knew I was going to say that, didn't you? Um, but they don't have that next step for people to take once they have, you know, once they have come and join their list, like all they do is they maybe get a welcome email and then it's like, bam, straight into weekly newsletters. It's if you even remember to send the new weekly newsletters, like let me know in the comments if maybe you don't always send reliable, reliably send your weekly newsletters. Yeah. But the thing is, you're missing such a golden opportunity here. I'm going to tell you why. So I did a study recently, um, really, really high numbers. We went through, we dug in really, really deep to see, okay, when do people, when, how long does it normally take? someone to buy. And this wasn't just with my stats. It was other people's um, information as well. We all kind of went through and analyzed it. And the fact is that the vast majority, it was almost 70% of sales happened within the first seven to 14 days. So these are people who are getting on your list and almost ready to buy. And the thing is, if you were just dumping them into your weekly newsletter and then not making an offer until the next time you launch, which is maybe what, every few months, you've missed this amazing opportunity. These people were ready to buy right now. Um, and it's, so it's, a, it's li- literally leaving money on the table, which I, I, I hate that saying, but it's true. Um, so what can you do about it? Like the thing is a lot of people think that what you need to do is you need to grow your list, right? Aggressively grow your list. And then you need to launch that list and you need to make sure your launches are amazing. And so you're going to keep perfecting your launch, keep trying new things, keep trying new offers, keep trying new tactics and whatever. And, and you know, you kind of end up stuck in that kind of loop And when that all works really well, they think then you go and you create a funnel, but no, 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 that's actually the wrong way around. I say, um, and I say this because I know it's true and because I've seen it happen with for lots and lots of people, it's actually better to get that funnel set up way earlier because you don't need to have a perfect launch to have a perfectly profitable funnel um, because they're quite different. And also because, as I said, you've got this window. People get on your list. They are ready to buy it. The reason they got on your list, think about it. The reason they joined your list is because maybe... They type something into Google. They've got a problem they're looking to solve. Type it into Google. You came up if your SEO is awesome. Well done. If that is true. And, you know, so they went, they read that thing and like, yeah, I'm really into this. And then they got on your list. Maybe they saw you share something on your social media and they went and kind of checked you out or there was a, you had a link to an opt in or something. And they went, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, the reason that that thing would have popped out to them, like if they were scrolling, scroll, 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 so many things, your particular post popped out at them. Why? Because it's something that they're looking for help with right now. It's something that right now they're really focused on and they're looking for a solution. So they've 
seen this out of all of the information that, that's around. They've seen your thing. They've clicked through. They've read it. They went, yep, I'm, you know, this sounds exciting. I want more. I want to know more. Help me. They've gotten on your email list. And then you've just kind of neglected them. They were ready. They were like, they were nearly there. They wanted your help. They were, um, you know, almost ready to buy. All you need to do is warm them up slightly, show them the right stuff at the right time, and then make them a funnel friendly offer. And a really good percentage of them would probably have taken you up on it. And the thing is that this funnel, setting it up, it's not hard, doesn't require crazy tech, doesn't require you to be a super nerd or spend a lot of money. And the thing is, once you've set it up, it's always there. It's always running in the background. So then when you can go, you go out and you go do your list building and you focus on, on growing your list, you're going to start seeing sales coming through all the time, like a couple of week, a couple of day, depends on how, you know, how aggressively you're growing your list. But when you grow, grow your list without that funnel, you, you lose, you basically losing those, those sales. Like those people were ready to buy you, you know, a lot of them aren't going to wait till next time you launch. They're going to go find a solution somewhere else. So this is why I really, really believe that growing, trying to grow your list without having a funnel in place is like pouring water into a bucket with a hole at the bottom. It's kind of pointless, particularly when it's not that hard to set up a funnel. It's really not like we've got people inside our 5k funnel formula who are blasting through and getting their funnel set up in a matter of weeks and who are getting, you know, sales like really, you know, in weeks two, three, four, sales starting to come through. Like, and then it's, it's set up, it's done. And the beautiful thing about funnels, another thing, reason I love funnels and you know, probably go, okay, shut up about funnels, but no, I will not. I love them. Um, is because you can actually use your funnels to help improve your launches. Like, because the thing is you can probably the launch, right? Is if you go, okay, I'm going to go and do a launch every three months or every two months or however and often you do it. You basically, you're putting a lot of eggs into a basket. You're like, okay, in this launch, I'm going to try this thing, right? And you only really get one shot at trying it. So the emails that you send out, you get one shot. Like you might be able to do A-B tests, some subject lines, but you don't really get a chance to go, oh, that email totally flopped. I'm going to send, you know, I'm going to change it and send it again. You can do that with a funnel. And you, a lot of people, so what I teach inside the 5k funnel formula is how to set up your very first simple funnel to really capture those, you know, people who are already getting on your list, those organic leads you're already getting. And then I show you how to amplify that through, um, some specific list building techniques, authority building techniques. Um, and that's sort of like stage three, once your funnel is set up. But what a lot of people do is they kind of take this whole process and when it's coming up to a launch is, Hey, how about we test? some of this launch stuff out in our funnel first and make sure that it's working before we go and put like all our entire list and all of this money and all this effort into it. So the thing with launch, with funnels is they don't come after a launch. They come before it because when you have your funnel set up, it means those months you're not launching, you're still making sales. It means that people who are getting on your list in between launches, when they're ready to buy, they still have the opportunity. And it means that you have also have an opportunity to test some stuff out before you go and, you know, put so much, such high risk, high pressure on it through a launch. And the fourth benefit of having a funnel up and running is that when you do a launch and you know, you invest all that time, you get all those new people in and some of them aren't quite ready to buy yet. Guess what you do with them? You stick them in your funnel. And then, you know, a couple of weeks time when maybe they needed just that little bit more warming up, then you'll get a bunch more sales as well. So even after your launch is done, you're still going to get more sales. It's just one of those things that once you've done it, you're like, oh my God, why did I do this earlier? Um, but I do understand that like, come, you know, from someone, if maybe you haven't funneled before, maybe you're scared of the tech, maybe you're like, I don't have the time. You kind of think, you know, it's, it's a thing that you can put off till later. But I would just strongly, strongly suggest that wherever creative funnel is on your list, and if you sell products online, it should be on your list somewhere. Just let's move it a little higher, right? Because it's going to be one of those things that, is, you know, you're going to get your return on investment. You're going to get, you know, the return on the time spent because once it's set up and running, it's there, it works. You don't really have to think about it anymore. And you can go back to just stressing about your launches and to growing your list. And you know that you're going to get these extra sales every single week because your funnel is there to support you. So 
If you want to know more about funnels, if this has made you a bit funnel curious, if you'd like to see the, an example of, as I said, this really, really simple funnel you can put in place. And this is the exact funnel that I've used with students to get them from going to one or two sales a month to up to 80 sales a month, completely automated. Um, I'm showing you exactly how you can do that inside my masterclass right now. The links are in the post um, above or below. So click through free video masterclass, click through, jump in, make sure you have pen and paper ready so you can take lots of notes. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can create a really awesome profitable funnel for your business, wherever you are right now with whatever it is that you're offering um, and how you can get that up and running and making money and making sales in the next 90 days. So click through, join in and I'll see you inside. Bye.